What's up YouTube gamers, Rimsy here, and today I'm coming back at you with another video. Now it's been a while, it's been about maybe coming on a year since I made my last config video, and a lot has changed with Dead by Daylight. Configs no longer work the way they used to, we're very limited in the changes we can make. You may be wondering, like Rimsy, why have you changed your name so many things? Well, I'm very indecisive. You may also be wondering, Rimsy, what the fuck's going on, where have you been, what happened to your DVD shit? A few things happened, so I started law school, you know, that obviously takes quite a lot of my time. I kind of took a bit of a break from Dead by Daylight, a good six months, and I've turned 18, so that's, that's cool. Jane, five miles away, who wants my cop tonight, can finally get her wish. As I was saying, the changes we can do to our Dead by Daylight are now very limited. I was inspired to make this video because after my six month hiatus from Dead by Daylight, I come back, I launch it, and holy shit, the game looks so bad, it was so fucking blurry, the textures looked like ass, it looked like if I had, had a disabled child and made him crayon the entirety of Dead by Daylight, I don't know what the art team was doing, I don't know what the graphics things were doing, but it was disgusting, I could have smeared shit on my screen and it would have looked better. Enough of making fun of the disabled, we don't do that here. I'm one of the disabled myself, ADHD yeah, what can I say? Well, let's move on to the config. So, as I said, we are we are limited in what we can do with the configs. Now, really all we can do is get the best graphical fidelity alongside performance with the shit that they give us. We can't change anything really in the main menu, so I've created a config with what I believe to be the optimal balance of performance and graphical fidelity. I think the game becomes sharper, it's clear, it's everything's more visible and your performance goes up. It's roughly equivalent to the performance of the game on medium settings, but it looks far better. It's not as advantageous as you don't get the red stain increase or no fog. It's not brighter, but as I said, if you're wanting the best Dead by Daylight experience you can get without an alternative method which is bannable where you could use old configs which I may cover if enough people want however I wouldn't personally recommend that as I said it's bannable but if you want to stay on the right side of the terms of service shall we say using this method will not give you any risk of a ban and you can feel safe and secure knowing you made your Dead by Daylight look sexy while not risking any form of repercussion. So I'm going to show you how to get this. First you're going to download the file from the description. It's going to be called Whoopsie DVD Config. We're going to open that bad boy. WinRAR is going to then present us with a please purchase WinRAR license. I'm going to say no. Now we go on to our search bar and we type run or bra and then click run. Then app data is where you want to go on to. It'll take you to here. You want to go to local Dead by Daylight, saved, config, windows no enter. Now this is where the magic happens. You're gonna drag these two files in. Now I'm not gonna do it yet because I wanna showcase the default low settings just so you can see the drastic difference and how disgusting the game looks without edited settings. But I will, before I do that, explain what the config does. So this engine.ini, this used to be where all the magic happens. Now it's not really got much at all. All we've got is this, which just disables most acceleration and smoothing. Then we've got this, which disables anti-aliasing, because the anti-aliasing is horrible in this game. It is it is like someone just blurred the entire screen. It's disgusting. This is where the magic happens now, game user settings. So we keep the default resolution. Then these settings are the graphical ones that I've gone for. They are very good in my opinion. I spent quite a while tweaking them. Um, it's the best you can get. If, if you want to correct me and tell me you got better, go for it, but I don't think it's going to happen. They're pretty nice. We could change the resolution, however, for the graphical fidelity increase that you get, it's not worth it for the performance cost. You get about 10 FPS down for every 20% increase in resolution, and it just hardly looks better. This, this line controls the UI. This means when you go into your settings, it will say you're playing Ultra. You're not playing Ultra, don't worry, you're still using, you're still using my settings but this will give you ultra level UI as opposed to the blurry mesh that is on low and medium. The things you're gonna really want to change are gonna be the camera and mouse sensitivity. As you can see, mine are really low. I highly doubt you're gonna be using the same. So 
please change this. When I release the actual config, I'll probably set these to 50 for you guys just to make it easier since that's the default. You may also want to change the resolution if you're not on 1080p. This unlimits the frame rate and puts it to 120, which is the engine limit. Anything past this and you get uh, issues within the game, so that's why it's 120. And this forces actual full screen. That's about all there is to cover. So when you drag those files in, you no longer need to make them read only. Just ensure that you do not change your graphical quality for the main menu. You can change anything else, but if you change your graphic settings, you will reset the graphic settings in this and you'll have to reapply them. You have to drag it back in or look at this video to see what to change the values to. I'll now showcase the difference between default low settings and the config. Let's go on to that now through the power of editing. So this is us back on Dead Body Light. All I've done is just accept the like you learn everything and the cross play notifications and switch to Michael because all the other killers have been too fucking loud. You can see how terrible this looks like that knife just looks like complete ass. It showed very well on the right actually I'd say just look at this. Like that is actually quite laughable. That just looks horrific. The blur is insane. You can hardly even see the characters of the campfire. It's it's overall quite horrible. We'll even change it to medium. Medium it becomes a bit more bear bearable. The blur actually slightly reduces and this looks less like it's made of play-doh, but it's still not great. For the most drastic change though, I'm gonna show low. Obviously you can see FPS is capped to 62, so now we see Dead by Daylight with the config. The difference is immediately apparent and really quite staggering. The Wraith weapon no longer looks like it was done by a child on their first day at art class. The characters in the background aren't blurry haze, and in fact the textures are better than that of medium. They are that of ultra settings. You also have gone rid of the blur, and you're seeing comfortably at 120 FPS. What more could you want? To further demonstrate this, I'm going to take us into the survivor tutorial to give you a better comparison. Okay, so we're now in the tutorial mission. As you can see, the FPS is pinned at 62 because that's the default cap. Textures don't look great. I mean, they're not horrific, but it's also quite blurry. Like in the distance, you can see that. I actually it's pretty difficult to see. The 62 FPS cap is pretty grim. Overall, it's a bit blurry. It actually runs worse. Like, I can feel stutter and input lag with the default settings. It just feels horrible. Stuff's quite blurry. The textures aren't great. So now I'm going to show you the comparison with the config. So as you can see, a comfortable 120 FPS. It feels just... Obviously you can't feel this because you're watching a YouTube video, but it feels ridiculously more smooth. It just feels so much better. The input lag is gone. Everything just feels responsive. Textures, sure, I'm not claiming they're, they're somehow amazing, but they're definitely better. I can't, I can't make it better than Dead by Daylight's textures to actually are. But they're not bad. They're not bad at all with this on. It's no longer completely blurry as you look into the distance. It's only limited by the actual fog effect of the game. Overall, just a drastic improvement. I, if this doesn't show you that you need to be using this config versus the default settings, nothing will. But then why would you even be on this video? As you can see, the config is definitely worth using. And for no downsides, no repercussions, why haven't you downloaded it yet? That's the real question. To conclude and wrap things up with this tutorial, I just wanted to thank you for your attention and thank you for watching this. I lastly wanted to note that I'm using a laptop, 16GB RAM, an i7 10th generation and a 1660Ti, but obviously that's the laptop variant. That is roughly equivalent to the performance of a medium end gaming PC with a 1060 as opposed to a 1660. That's just to give you some perspective on the sort of performance you can expect. With this setup I maintain 120fps constantly with the settings, so if you've got something more powerful you can feel free to turn up the screen resolution. And if you've got something less, turn down the screen resolution or maybe the texture settings. Hope this video has helped you and I'll see you in the next one.